In this short segment, I want to tackle the most common question that I've received. How to conduct basic legal research with Google Scholar. Each quiz has featured a research question because locating legal material is a critical skill. My hope is that you will come away from the course not just with an understanding of surveillance law as it is, but with a tool set for exploring future developments in surveillance law. So, let me give two quick walkthroughs of how I might find a particular case. Let's suppose I've heard that the highest court of Massachusetts has handed down an opinion on compelled decryption. And I want to read that opinion. I'll start by navigating to Massachusetts. and selecting the Supreme Judicial Court, which is the state's highest court. Then, I'll narrow my search to opinions from 2014. Finally, I'll enter a few relevant terms. I'm going to just use Fifth Amendment decryption. You might also consider using case names or statutes that the opinion might cite. Or, if you found a quote from the opinion, you might pop that in. There it is, the first result. Commonwealth against Gelfgat, 468 Mass 512. Let me show you another way to find the same opinion. Instead of searching for keywords, I'm going to search for a leading case that has to be cited in the opinion I'm looking for. The case is United States against Hubble, and it's the Supreme Court's most recent explanation of how the Fifth Amendment applies to producing documents. Now I'll ask to see all the opinions that cite Hubble. When a service collects all the citations to a document, that's called a citator. Once again, I'll narrow my search to 2014. And I'll also narrow to just the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court. There, once again, is the opinion I'm looking for. So, there's a quick explanation of two ways to find a court opinion using Google Scholar.